And now the men's javelin. Robinson of Canada. One hundred and eighty-two feet, five inches. Hignell of England. Lay of New Zealand, holder of the present record of 207 feet one and a half inches, which he made at the first Empire Games in 1930. Tunambuna of Fiji. Roininen of Canada. One hundred and eighty-seven feet, four and a half inches. The winning throw. First, Roininen of Canada. Second, Tunambuna of Fiji. Third, Robinson of Canada. Australians dominated the hop, step and jump as they have at the last two Empire Games. McKeon of Australia, 49 feet 1 inch. Polmere of Australia. Forty-eight feet one and three quarter inches. Forsyth of New Zealand. Forty-six feet, seven and a quarter inches. McKeon of Australia again. Fifty feet, one and three quarter inches. The best jump so far. Oliver the third of the Australians. Fifty-one feet, two and a half inches, the winning jump. Only one inch short of J.P. Metcalf's game's record. And Australia fills the first three places. Martin of New Zealand, with the bar in the pole vault at 12 feet 3 inches. Edgerton of Canada. Edgerton was placed second on a count back with 13 feet and one eighth of an inch.
heron of New Zealand. Heron's best was 12 feet 9, the highest ever by a New Zealander, and he finished fourth on a count back. Anderson of England. Anderson clears 13 feet and one eighth of an inch for first place. Denton of Australia, third place with 12 feet 9 inches. The women's 440 yards relay with Marjorie Jackson coming up on the inside to open up a big lead for Australia over the first 220. From Jackson to Strickland for the next 110 yards, with Hardman bringing New Zealand into second place. From Strickland to Johnson, and now it's Australia all the way. First Australia, second New Zealand, third England. Time, 47.9 seconds, with both Australia and New Zealand breaking the game's record. Now the men's 440 yards relay, with England on the inside. Next to them, Ceylon, then New Zealand, and Australia in lane four. Get set. leg with Trelaw racing away to top off another Australian victory. And here's England just beating New Zealand for second place. Time 42.2 seconds. The cycling road race of 100 kilometers over a course that goes through the suburbs of Parnell, Remuera and Oraki and across the waterfront drive. The race starts on the foreshore on the outskirts of the city and climbs 211 feet into Parnell inside the first mile. There are 13 starters, three from Australia, three from New Zealand, two each from England and Canada, and one each from Rhodesia, Scotland and Wales. Iraqi, the riders come out onto Tamaki Drive, which runs along the waterfront. 
On the bridge is the pick-up point for sponges, and from the bridge back to the starting point is flat, smooth road ideal for taking refreshments. Fowler of Australia, number 12, is overtaken by Campbell of Wales, a lone entrant who's riding well without any teammates to help him. Newman of England is also on his own after losing Holroyd with a broken chain. Sutherland, the Australian road racing champion, is overhauled by the New Zealand pair Downey and Carter. Carter, close behind Downey, is the New Zealand road champion and Olympic representative. and breakdowns take steady toll of the field. Lambert of New Zealand drops out with a broken chain and several others have tyre trouble. Repairs are done in quick time and gallant efforts are made by lone riders to join up with the field but few of them succeed. of Rhodesia stops with chain trouble and retires soon afterwards. A long Tamaki drive again and past the pickup point. Carter of New Zealand introduces some variety by producing a banana from his back pocket and peeling it with his teeth. Carter moves into the lead, but he's closely watched by the Australians who recognise him as their most dangerous opponent, and Sutherland overtakes him again. Thank you. 
run to the finish. Less than a mile to go, and Downey and Carter of New Zealand are in the lead, and Sutherland of Australia comes up into second place behind Carter. Nearly 62 miles gone, and the strain is beginning to show. leads with a quarter of a mile to go and the jockeying for position for the final sprint starts as Campbell moves out. 400 yards to go and the first sprint. Downey weaves in front to blanket the field. 250 yards to go and the final sprint for the line. Sutherland and Fowler pass Campbell with Carter hard on their heels. Sutherland wins by inches from Carter with Fowler third and only seven out of 13 finished. The winner of the 100 kilometer road race, Sutherland of Australia by one tenth of a second from Carter of New Zealand. In third place, Fowler of Australia. The final evening in Auckland, Western Springs Stadium. The Prime Minister of New Zealand, the Honourable S.G. Holland by their presence here in our country and by their performances our visitors have given immense pleasure and happiness to our people one by one team captains return their flags we thank the people of fiji for sending such a team they will take the best wishes of the people of new zealand back to their own country After the handing in, each team receives back its national flag as a gift from the host country. This flag is now returned to you as a token of loyalty to empire and friendship between our countries. Team captains and managers attend the word of the Empire Games chairman, the veteran athlete, Mr. Arthur Porritt. May I now request that the flag of the British Empire Games Federation be lowered. And so, after seven days' glory, the flag comes down. The flag which flew above high jump and pole vault, over breathless sprint and hard-won marathon, over brother athletes gathered in from a dozen lands of the British world. Under this flag in 1930 were held the Empire Games in Hamilton, Ontario. In 1934, in London. In 1938, in Sydney. And now, in 1950, the flag comes for a moment to the hands of the Empire Games chairman, Mr. Mayor, I give into your safekeeping the flag of the British Empire Games Federation to be held in trust by the city of Auckland until it is handed over to the city in Canada where the next Empire Games will be held. 